MCAT, you're there. Yeah, at uh, ground zero here, there's a real palpable sense of, uh, of fear uh, and the unknown. Mark Meadows was out a little bit earlier and they kind of calmed the waters, but uh, it's, a, it's a very tough task today. On a day like today, what you want is the White House Chief of Staff in full command. You want the National Economic Advisor figuring out how do you calm markets. The press staff is thinking about how do they show the American people that the president is you know, safe and well. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things going on here at once. It's like a Russian nesting doll of crises. Are our allies feeling secure? Are our enemies feeling emboldened? Markets tumbling. This is a tough day for any White House to manage something like this but you have the added problems of this White House lacking credibility. It's a fantasy to think that we're gonna actually get the real story right now. This is someone who had a doctor fake a note saying he's like the healthiest person in the galaxy. <laughs> I mean, is this real was the first question for a lot of people. Right. This is really the culmination of so much that is signature Trump brand. Defy logic, defy the recommendations. That's worked for him. But now we have a moment where the flip side to being an iconoclast could be potentially disastrous, not just for his presidency, not just for his own health, but for the country. We know it shouldn't be a surprise, but now that it's actually happened, it's really pretty shocking. I think it seems shocking in part because his actions never seem to catch up to him. We are going to quickly find ourselves contemplating the politics of this. If President Trump's mismanagement of coronavirus was the central political liability he had in this campaign, is the fact that he has now managed to get himself sick, is that not like kind of the end of the campaign? There was some thinking that the final weeks of the campaign would be focused on this really fierce partisan battle over filling Ruth Bader Ginsburg's seat. And we're back on COVID. Here's what I'm certain about. If you'd asked any political strategist on either side of the aisle six months ago, what's the worst possible thing that could happen to Donald Trump? They would all say he gets COVID. It's hard to see how you recover from this politically, but this guy is the political Houdini. How many times has he done it before? I would bet every dollar in my pocket that there will be more October surprises. It's early. We have another 29 days of October. And I imagine there's all kinds of crazy shit that's gonna happen.